keep this party going. Reprise du débat, resuming debate. The Honourable Member sir, for South Okanagan, West Kootenay. Hey, hey. Well, thank you, Mr. Speaker. And I'm happy to rise today to speak to this important piece of legislation, a bill that legalizes and regulates the possession and sale of marijuana in Canada. And I might uh, start by saying the NDP has been calling for the decriminalization of marijuana for 45 years, and we support the legalization of marijuana as long as it is not marketed to children, as long as it generates reliable funding for public health programs, prevention and the treatment of addictions, and funding for health research, and that there is also an effective impaired driving strategy. Now, since the impaired driving piece is dealt with in a separate bill, C-46, I won't say anything more about that, but it, it certainly has been something that the RCMP members and other concerned citizens in my riding have impressed on me as an important part of this project. And we in the NDP support the legalization of marijuana primarily because its criminalization has been a failed policy. The possession and use of marijuana has been illegal in Canada since 1923, but what has that accomplished? And I'd just like to uh, point out some facts. 30% of Canadian youth have tried cannabis by the time they are 15. 12% of Canadians over the age of 15, that's over 2 million Canadians, used marijuana in the last year. And I can say that through my door knocking experience in South Okanagan, West Kootenay, uh, that I would back that up. That, and in fact, use in my writing may well be higher than the national average. There were over 100,000 drug offences reported in Canada in one year in 2014, two-thirds of those related to marijuana. That's over 60,000 uh, drug offences with regards to marijuana in one year. So the present law regarding cannabis has done little or nothing to stop young people from using marijuana. It has given thousands of Canadians criminal records and has created a huge underground economy much of it dominated by gangs and organized crime. So it's clear that the status quo is just not an option. But at the moment, we're in a state of purgatory around marijuana legalization. The Liberals promised this in the last election, uh, not the legalization. They were elected 18 months ago, so Canadians have been anticipating the legislation since then. And despite that, people are still getting criminal records for simple possession. More than 15,000 uh, people have been charged for marijuana possession since the Liberal government took office. 15,000 people. And now it is clear that the government won't complete this action for another 15 months, and thousands are still suffering under these criminal records. These records severely impact people's lives. They have trouble getting jobs. They have trouble finding housing. They can't travel across international borders. So. The, uh, we are calling for pardons for all Canadians who have criminal records for the simple possession of marijuana. This, mm. is, this uh, bill will legalize marijuana for that purpose, and we have thousands of people uh, whose lives have been tainted by these uh, criminal records. And we're calling on the government to implement an interim policy of decriminalization so that no more Canadians receive criminal records for something that will be legal within months. These impact, actions impact young people disproportionately, young people who will face a lifetime of difficulties if they are convicted of simple possession. And these actions also fill our courts with pointless prosecutions. Even the Liberal Party of Canada website states that, and I quote, arresting and prosecuting these offences is expensive for our criminal justice system. It traps too many Canadians in the criminal justice system for minor nonviolent offences. End quote. And these pointless prosecutions add significantly to delays in the court system, sometimes to the point of serious cases being dismissed. Since the Jordan decision on trial delays uh, last July, over 800 accused criminals have been freed simply because their trials were taking too long, some of them charged with murder. Filling the courts with marijuana possession cases only exacerbates this unacceptable situation. So again, the NDP supports legalization and calls for immediate decriminalization for the possession of small amounts of marijuana. 
Now, I want to just cover a few points on what this bill sets out regarding legalization and regulation. First, it states that an adult over the age of 18 can possess up to 30 grams of dried cannabis and grow up to four mature plants in their home. Uh, and as other people have pointed out, there's uh, regulations around the size of those plants. Provinces, of course, will be free to set a higher age limit if they so choose. An obvious strategy would be to harmonize the age of use with that for alcohol in the province. But provinces may wish to have a higher age limit, as there have been concerns about the effect of cannabis on the development of young people up to the age of 25. And I can add that I was just talking to a friend the other day who is in his 40s now, but he's, he said, you know, when I was young, I used a lot of marijuana and it really affected my memory. It, it really oh. has affected uh, his development. And so he was pushing me to make sure that I stated that it would be better to have a higher age limit. Hmm. Uh, this bill allows for punishment up to 14 years in prison for any adult providing cannabis to a minor. And some may consider that overly harsh because it's the same punishment for producing child pornography or attempting to leave Canada to commit terrorism. Hmm. What the bill doesn't That's spell out clearly is what the tax structure around marijuana sales will look like and how these would be shared with the provinces. And the tax system is important because it would be best to keep taxes low enough so people aren't tempted to buy from the black market, from the gangs, the organized crime, but high enough to generate important funds that could p pay for the pro programs, programs, first of all, that are generated by this uh, legalization process, but also programs such as public health education, particularly around drug and alcohol use, obviously, uh, addiction treatment, and health research. You know, my riding, and I'm sure across Canada this is the case, there are several programs that help people with drug and alcohol addictions and help these people regain their health, help them return to their families uh, with whole lives. But all these pro programs in my riding are struggling for funding, and they could do so much more if they had the necessary resources. And I assume, that, again, this is the case across the country. So this would be an important goal, I think, of any tax measures around marijuana, in my view. I think we need to generate proper funding for these uh, programs that deal with addiction prevention and treatment. And also, research on the health effects, both positive and negative, uh, of cannabis are very poorly known. And this is in part due, obviously, because marijuana has been illegal for the past almost century. And Canada could play an important role in elucidating these effects. And I've met many people across my riding who use cannabis for medical purposes, for the relief of pain, for insomnia, to help reduce seizures. Many of them have had to experiment with dosages themselves to find out what works for them. And we really need research to give us a better idea of what dosages, what ratios of CBD to THC work best in each circumstance. So again, the legalization of marijuana combined with a revenue stream specifically for health research into its effects would be very beneficial. So to conclude, I would just reiterate that I support this bill at second reading and I trust that the committee will do its due diligence to answer some of the many concerns of Canadians, so many of these we've heard here today. We certainly cannot go on with the status quo. And I think Canada could play an important role in the world as it does this important work. Thank you.